Welcome back, I'm Tiffany Ellis, and here now are the stories making our e-news and reviews for this week. Another massive toast to Arthur went down in history on Thursday at the Arthur Guinness Day Live concert at the National Arena in Kingston. Six performers bringing the usual eclectic mix of roots reggae, dancehall, and soca. From the prompt start of the show with an extremely impressive bugle. <laughs> the soca stars Skinny Fabulous and Mr. Killer. I mean, it's great. It's a great feeling. Being a part of the Guinness Day show, as I say, you know, um, Jamaica has been a place in my dreams as a youth. When I started at a very young age, maybe about eight, nine, I started doing reggae and dancehall. You understand? I always want to touch Jamaica, so Bob Marley country. And the dancehall assassin, nothing can be taken from these performers. Put up, put up on yeah, man, a good vibe. Yeah. It's, a, it's a premier event, and like I, I said in the show, you know, Guinness is very close to dancehall, and you know, it's good to um, be on a show like this with give it, Guinness giving back. You know what I mean? So, nice vibe. But Jacure, who made good on his promise of delivering a spectacular performance, seemed to have gotten the nod for performer of the night. An extensive band, a guest appearance from Felicia, and 45 minutes worth of hits. My plan for this, I wanted to execute a good show so I could go to my bed and smile. My family could smile, my fans could smile. Arthur Guinness, family could smile. So I feel good in my heart because as you can see, I put together an awesome arrangement with me and my band. I got arms, I got three keyboards, I got two guitars, I got some mad something to try. The dancehall queen and the rose among all the thorns closed out the night, taking the stage with her heels on and off. <laughs> it was a great show, man. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. And uh, yes, I am the lady of the night and every night and all the days of my life. You know, it was a great show. Love. I, I was shocked that I was closing it, but who best to play? So let me love you with my ears on. Another great year. I think we picked a set of artists with good, deep catalogs, and they put the catalog on show. Performances were different. I don't think people would have seen these artists in this particular light. Everyone came, gave it the best, and I think the audience engaged from start to finish. I lose the freedom, the freedom. I Octane made his fiery presence felt at Usain Bolt's tracks on records for the behind the screen series on Tuesday night. Well, the love for the fans was great, you know what I mean? Yeah, and we just give thanks. And I don't know, as I always say, we feel good within ourselves, we know so where I come from so far, and we're there today. The Hot Rass performed his hits of Now and Then. He had a few guest appearances. But it was when Gaza Slim took the stage to perform their new hot single called Can't Do It that tracks and records really erupted. Next Tuesday, the finale in this season of Behind the Screen. Yes, with modern day Judas Karuna, Jesse Royal. It was Bean Man's chance to take the stage for charity at Live in the City at Crew in Kingston. What's Foundation of Jamaica? It's all about. Sickle cell trait that me have, I'm born with it, and you know, it runs through all of my kids. And um, 
one of my son which is Moses have full blown sickle cell. So you don't know. So it's it's as I said, it's for a great car, son. So when you got this opportunity, it was like a no-brainer to come and do it. Simple. And where even just a few are gathered, it's hard for the king of the dance hall to disappoint. Taste of Jamaica is a major culinary reason Jamaicans will flock the Montego Bay area this Heroes Weekend. We, we, sh we, we need to stop the way of saying Jamaica is about sun, sea and whatever. Jamaica, the food for Jamaica can be a destination. Set for the Jamaica Conference Center in the second city, this marks the fifth staging of the Food Expose, whose primary mission is to showcase new culinary talents. Um, because the aim of the, a lot of people don't know the reason for the taste of the Jamaica. It is really to develop the young talents of these culinary federation, have the younger kids having a way to express themselves through food. We see this as a wonderful opportunity to let it be recognized and known to our youngsters who are coming up that, you know, culinary arts, food uh, is an admirable profession and creating wonderful opportunities for them not only here but overseas. Mark Cole and Brian Lumley are two of the event's most accomplished luminaries. This is where I started as a youngster. I, I actually went to my mom's house two days ago and I saw a placard on the wall, Marco's first gold medal. That was like 15 years ago. It's almost like a champs for culinary arts. Select palettes sampled the taste on September 17 as the organizer, the Culinary Federation of Jamaica, rolled out details of the two-day event to media and stakeholders at Jamaica Pegasus. People want the flavors of the world on their plate irrespective of where they are and our food profile here is is rich uh, it's exciting and uh, it's full of flavor we've been with taste of jamaica for years we've been a title sponsor um, going on four years now and i think it's a partnership that we're not going to let go of it's worth your money yeah man it's worth the money every bit of it anybody interested in culinary arts you have to be at this event there's no way you can miss it because it's the only event that you get such a widespread of different categories. Sanson and food. Sanson and food. For more on these stories, you can log on to onstagetv.com. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash onstagetv Jamaica. All right, Winford, what do you have for us this week? Thank you very much, Tiffany. Well, in response to Futa Hype's scathing, Allegations about her last week right here on stage. Mm -hmm. Aishana is all set to tell all. Oh, all she promised. Lovely. And also coming up, Mr. Vegas, who is mourning the loss of his mom. Mm -hmm. He'll be telling, telling us about some good news for him. Ooh. Some good things happening for him. And he'll be sharing that Thanks. with us. And from the courthouse to our stage. Vanessa Bling. <laughs> Vanessa Bling. Yes. Gaza Slim. She will spread the joy. Lovely. She's coming to spread her joy. Lovely. Right here on stage, all coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And now it's all in a peace. Such a shame, but I'm leaving. Be a girl when I take white beating.